To Gaza now, where the latest Israeli attack has killed at least four Palestinians. The strike targeted a home in Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. The injured have been taken to hospital. Women and children are among them. The Israeli military has killed more than 41,300 Palestinians since October. Let's bring in our correspondent, Tariq Abu Azum. He's joining us live from Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. Tariq, firstly, just take us through how the latest strike happened. Well, uh, the strike, in fact, has taken place at dawn hours where the, it had also been uh, inside one of the most densely populated areas in the central regions of the Strip, which is Deir el Balah, where we are now. The residential house that has been targeted did not receive any warning. It has been hit squarely, at least as we have been hearing from medical sources for Palestinians have been confirmed killed as ambulances have been seen going in and out of the site of the strike, bringing casualties to Al-Aqsa Hospital, while the scenes of children being injured were really disturbing. We look at those uh, children being treated on the floor, being uh, completely injured in the legs, hands and even heads as the destruction being left behind was beyond recognition. Uh, uh, medical teams have been saying that they were forced to deal with the high rates of the surgeries on the ground because the bed capacities are overwhelmed with patients and injured people, while the uh, area that had been targeted had been very largely affected. There has been a very wide impact on the neighboring houses where one of the survivors from that family that was hit said that it was a new episode of genocide. This is a clear reflection, in fact, about what Palestinians are going through right now in light of the unprecedented escalation that the Gaza Strip is going through. And this is not the only attack that was carried out during the past couple of hours or even during other night strikes. We're talking about four Palestinians being recovered, killed from Rafah city. And just only an hour ago, the Israeli uh, military quadcopter drones have been actively operating in an Uzarat refugee camp. At least one Palestinian has been killed uh, due to the fire of these drones. That is a very constant threat for Palestinians. And we saw today earlier, just on the left corner of Maine now, uh, trucks are waiting for uh, the people who were killed in order to be left for cemeteries, in order to be buried. And Tariq, like you say, there's no reduction in the violence in the Israeli violence, Israeli attacks across Gaza. We are looking at pictures on our screen as you are speaking of traumatized children in hospital. As we see an increase in violence between Israel and Hezbollah, are people there in Gaza worried that they will be forgotten? Well, uh, the threat is not about the concern to be forgotten. It's about that Israel now is basically operating in two fronts, the Gaza Strip and the Lebanese territories. In Gaza, Israel has systematically destroyed all signs of life, including the destruction and the systematic obliteration of residential neighborhoods, main evacuation and educational centers, alongside now with creating more military corridors to control life in Gaza and leaving a very clear political and security vacuum in the Strip without focusing uh, uh, on returning the Israeli hostages as a main priority for the Israeli hardline government. But now it's apparently clear that the Israeli army is moving the, its military momentum to the north of, uh, of Israel, especially to the Lebanese front in order to exert more pressure on Hezbollah and achieve Israel's military and political objectives. But there has been a clear link between Lebanon and Gaza that the war want to stop until Gaza could be a place uh, or a safe place for Gaza itself. But people here, as we've been talking to them, they are too concerned about the destruction of Lebanon. They do not want to see the carnage, the displacement took place here in Gaza to be transferred to Lebanon. And this is, is absolutely clear in the Israeli military acts in the course of the past a few weeks that the army is exerting more pressure on Lebanon. They have been carrying out different uh, secret and intelligence operations 
tensions in the Lebanese territories. And just an overnight of strikes on Lebanon, there has been a clear devastation in the civil Lebanese infrastructure, which could be a sort of exchanges of hits between Hezbollah and Israel. And any miscalculation in a, in a situation of assessment could lead to an all-out war, and that is part of what Israel is preparing to. So basically, Israel has engaged the entire region into a very chaotic turmoil. Tarek, thank you very much for that. That is Tarek Abu Azoum with the latest live in Der al Bala in central Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.